one of the interesting things about the complexity in the industry is it's very complex, but there aren't actually that many transactions. There aren't actually, you know, do you think there's room for AI or is there not enough data in the industry? Yeah, I think there are certainly places where you could apply it today. And you know, one of the one of the things that you need for AI or machine learning is is a large data set that's quite you know it helps if it's structured. Uh, we we traditionally don't have that, so I think I think there are places where you could apply it today, and I think we will find more uses for it. But that is one of the challenges, certainly, that companies you know the data is distributed between you know 15 different uh, systems at best, and it's uh, it's not tied together in any structured way. So. There isn't that kind of ready pool of data where you can apply AI. Okay, when we meet in uh, Geneva at eBase in five years' time, what will be different? Well, I think we will, you know, uh, you know, the, the structured data having, you know, um, having more individuals and more brokers and operators being able to book a private jet on an app. That can be done today by a few selection of, of, of brokers. Uh, but I think we will see a lot more uh, and standardization, I think, in the industry in terms of availability and, and pricing. And also the whole vision of uh, post-booking and pre-flight. The whole, I mean, any change that you want to make on uh, in regards to catering, passengers, uh, passport numbers, etc. You're going to be able to do that through an app, uh, providing all the parties involved in that life cycle, that trip, uh, with the updates as they, as they happen. Uh, payment is not going to be an issue in terms of as long as you can afford it, it's going to be able to solve it 24-7, 365. Um, it's going to be a much, much more streamlined experience than it is today. Hopefully then also opening up to a wider audience. I mean, the seat sharing will continue to, to improve and, and uh, become even more efficient. Yeah, I, I think that what I'm really excited about is the on the operator side, a lot of the data that has been siloed is starting to open up. And I think there's going to be possibilities that nobody's even thought of yet as that data opens up. And you have people in the industry who are techies who in the past have viewed some of these data points as being competitive advantages. And now seeing at the size that they, and the scale that they're operating it, they actually have more to share, uh, more to gain by sharing it than, than to keep it siloed. And once you have that fundamental shift that I'm open to share versus protective, that's sort of when you get the, the, the snowball effect going down the hill faster and faster and faster. And, and with the APIs that, I mean, Noel has underway, I mean, that's just going to be, yeah, a really exci exciting journey in the next yeah, couple of years. Do you think this is the start of a new um, aviation revolution? I guess it depends on what you mean with the aviation revolution. But yeah, I'd, like I said, I think, I think I'm really excited about, in, in terms of you know, having been at Avonode for a long time, it has kind of felt like there is, there's been progress all along, but I do think we are at kind of an inflection moment in terms of I think p things are going to pick up really quickly in the next five years on the technology front. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, again, coming back to what I said earlier, we have had more tech conversations in the last, you know, 12 to 18 months than where we had, you know, in the first, you know, 10, 15 years of the company. So I see a really, really positive change in people who are interested in what can be done more than just saying I use technology because I use Avinode as a platform, Skidero or Paynode, but actually what can I do with APIs? How can I make it easier for me to do to do business with my clients, so I'm, I'm fairly optimistic. Commercial airlines benefited from the distribution of their information when it went from the silo to the bigger. I mean, I think that, that I mean, I hate doing comparison between private aviation and commercial, but I think that's, that's the revolution that we see in terms of the information being distributed. There's interesting aircraft types coming out, and Embraer has their uh, air taxi thing and, and, and other things. It's going to be a combination of things that are going to change the way we travel. And, and we believe that information technology and information and distribution of that is, is one part. Uh, easier probably to, in the short term to design rather than new aircraft types that will have a meaningful impact. But it's still exciting to be part of it. You read about the hybrid, electric, uh, the unmanned, etc., etc. So uh, I don't think there's going to be any lack of news to be reporting and discussing over the next five years. Great. Thanks very much.